Hello and welcome to News Across Nigeria, where we bring you up to date with what's happening in your respective states across the country. I'm Olumide Makoli. Coming up on the program. Residents of southeastern states appeal for an international, rather an intervention on gateway roads. INEC reads the Riot Act to resident electoral commissioners on the continuous voter registration. And President Muhammad Buhari turns down the Peace Corps bill from the National Assembly. Thanks again for joining us. We begin in the southeastern part of the country. Residents of those states who ply the Onicha Oweri Road, the Onicha Ihiala Road, and other federal routes are crying to the federal government for intervention as a matter of urgency. These major roads, which support increasing business and transportation activities within the area, as well as many entering and leaving the state for economic activities, are in a state of disrepair. This is the type of road that residents of Southeast Nigeria, especially Anambra and Imo states, would love to have. Instead, this is what they have to endure. The Onicha Oweri Road and Onicha Ihiala Road, major routes for economic enterprise from the Southeast to other parts of the country, have become very difficult to navigate, especially during the rainy season. When we full everywhere, and some motor will be taking one way and killing people before this day or dry season. We enter this dry season, about 10 or 12 people will die on because of this road. Obin Nachidoka, the member representing Idemili North and South in the House of Representatives and sponsor of a motion for quick intervention on these gateway roads is concerned that if something is not done soon, business will suffer a devastating blow. We are very much of um, an entrepreneurial and a trading society. The Onicha market is about the biggest in this West Africa, and a lot of trade and commerce goes on there, and a lot of movement, you know, back and forth from here all the way to the southern part of Nigeria. Further along on the Onicha Ihiala Expressway, this looks like a small pothole on the Ulasi Okija Bridge in Anambra State. But on closer inspection, one could only describe it as a disaster waiting to happen. This young man dumps sand on the other side of the road for smoother vehicular movement, but there is nothing he can do about this hole, which is getting wider and deeper by the day. I'm very much aware that the governor of Anambra State has been here some time ago to do some intervention projects. But as you can see now, um, this requires a true state of emergency. So we are calling on the federal government, and as my discussion with the Minister of Works, who is very active in his duties, I'm also drawing his attention, as we discussed already, for them to commence work on this project immediately. Residents are asking for immediate repairs, which they believe would save lives and property. But they fear that if nothing is done, even the shovels of sand will not help when the rains come. To the south-south, the River State Governor, Yeson Wike, has assured the women of Ogba, Egbema, and Doni local government area of the state that they will no longer weep over their children and husbands. The Ogba women lost their husbands when the notorious suspected mass murderer, Don Wani, terrorized the communities. The governor laid their fears when the women from the over 120 communities paid a solidarity visit to him in Government House, Fort Harkins. All those who participated in taking innocent lives will not go free. I cannot be a governor, I'm inside Government House, and our mothers and our wives will not have peace. Is that possible? No. I know what Onega has passed through over these years. I know how many lives we have lost. 
Innocent children dying for nothing. Innocent mothers and fathers dying for nothing. And then people think that we should fold our hands and allow those people to continue to terrorize the place. I thank God that God's time has come. And they have all gone. And those of them who are remaining will still go. Wherever they are, whether they are in Imo State, wherever they are, let them know that the God of Mdoni, the God of Ebema, the God of Omo will bring them down. Mr. Yeston Wike, Governor of River State. In Edo State, the states that are yet to adopt the Administration of Criminal Justice Act of 2015 have been advised to do so without further delay in order to start enjoying the benefits that the law provides. Stakeholders in the legal profession gave the advice at a one-day workshop aimed at enabling the adoption and implementation of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act 2015 organized by the International Federation of Women Lawyers in Benin City, the Edo State Capital. As in reaction to the yearning of stakeholders for reform in the nation's justice system, and especially for more states to embrace the administration of the Criminal Justice Act 2015, that the International Federation of Women Lawyers, FIDA, Edo State, puts together this one-day workshop aimed at enabling the adoption of the Act in the state. The chairperson of FIDA, Edo State, Maria Deco, in her address, advises the Edo State government to wait no further before signing into law the act which has been ratified by the State Assembly. The Criminal Procedure Act, the Criminal Procedure Code, have been unified and human rights values have been infused into a to measure up to international standards. The representatives of the Attorney General and the Chief Justice of Edo State both agree that the adoption of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act will help to address many setbacks in the state's judiciary. If you read that law, even if you just read the federal one with the few modifications we have made in the law, there are numerous very onerous duties imposed, for instance, on the police and on the state. A guest lecturer at the event also maintained that the act, when embraced, will not only protect the rights of the accused, but also help to curb crime in society. The suspect who has been arrested is entitled to be notified of why he is being arrested. He must be informed that he has a right to be silent until he gets a lawyer before he signs any written document. This is good because not only will it protect the rights of the suspect, it also means that he can get a lawyer timelessly, and that means expedition of trial, and which of course will lead to the congestion of the courts and ultimately the congestion of our prison. The Administration of Criminal Justice Act came into force in May 2015. However, some states, including Edo, are yet to adopt the act into their judicial systems. The trial of the Senate President, Dr. Bukola Saraki, at the Code of Conduct Tribunal has been adjourned till March the 8th for parties to adopt their final brief. Although it was slated for today, it was adjourned by the Code of Conduct Tribunal Chairman, Mr. Danladi Umar, following claims by the Defense Lead Counsel, Mr. Kanu Agabi, that he was served with the brief of the prosecution on February the 26th. However, the prosecutor, Rotimi Jacobs, admitted that his brief was served late, but blamed the defense on the grounds that their own brief of argument was served on him after seven days as ordered by the tribunal. Having listened to both sides, the tri tribunal chairman subsequently adjourned the matter to March the 8th for the adoption of the final written addresses. He mentioned that after the formal adoption of the written addresses, the tribunal will take a date for the judgment in the suit which commenced since 2015.